This is Eddie Wilson uh, sometime just before Christmas in 2014. And this is a going away party that I've asked some friends to help me with. It's a going away party for mom's piano. Beulah bought this piano for me when I was about, I'm going to guess, 10 or 11 years old. And <clears throat> she thought surely if she spent that much money on a piano, I'd go to Carnegie Hall. But uh, I didn't have a pass come with it and then I got a Ford. And I still have dreams about what happened in my Ford, but I hardly ever have dreams about what happened with me at the keyboard of the piano. I have nightmares about that. Floyd Domino and Riley Osborne and a small cadre of friends have come to help with a going away party for the piano. It's gonna to go to Burley Auction Gallery and it's going to go to the highest bidder and I'm not even going to know what happens after that but I'll have to deal with it. We're raising money, Sandra and I, so that we can open third deals in New Zealand and we can't do it with all the stuff that I've accumulated that just doesn't float because it's a long, long way to that location that we're going to have in New Zealand. I'm going to get Riley Osborne, my middle name is Osborne too, you know, Edwin Osborne Wilson, Floyd Domino, and you know where that name came from. <laughs> it came from way away when I hired him the first time to come here in 1972 with a sleeve of the wheel to play Armadillo World Headquarters. And that's where Mama's Piano really had its heyday, played by Fats Domino, played by Ray Charles, uh, such a string of Count Basie. Count Basie. Leon Russell. Leon Russell. Uh, so many piano players, I can't name them all. All better than I. That's why I never touch it again because it might devalue it somehow. Somebody out there's got to want it. We have stories to tell here at the house as we clear it all out to Burley. We've got Don Hyde's marijuana leaf boots, which were made by Charlie Dunn in 1968. We've got handwritten by Bonnie Parker, Morphine to the tune of Mother, a very sad song indeed. We've got Janis Joplin memorabilia that may end up in the auction all in one big Janis offing. Uh, we've got the little miniature red granite star that is miniature of the big one we put in the sidewalk down on 6th Street. We've got the nude, it's autographed by Janice. We've got some Niles Graham memorabilia, Austin's biggest ever pack rat that needs to be reborn in history books. And we've got things from New Zealand where we're gonna go back to and open the thread gills down under because they just don't have our kind of food. And if we're gonna be there, we gotta keep my weight up. Come see us at the auction. Come see us at Thread Guilds. We'll be looking for you. And we get Floyd now to start the little going away party by tinkling on the ivories they say.
tell. Show. Tell. Eddie Wilson back at you at the same going away party we were getting started a while ago. We're probably not quite as old and sober as we were just a while ago, but we're still moving in the right direction. Now, it's all known to all the folks that ever played the Armadillo World Headquarters that everybody was happy that they got to play this piano. And that includes Count Basie. It includes people that Joe Zawinul. It includes people that, that you know, some people never heard of because they don't follow piano players, but the best folks in the whole world have played on this thing. And so there's hardly enough precious coin to really own this, but out there somewhere is somebody that will send us off to New Zealand to open the thread guilds by paying what this thing might be worth if you just really had to dig down deep. Now, Riley Osborne spells Osborne a little bit differently then my daddy spelled Osborne. That's my middle name, you know. He was, he was uh, donated to World War II. Woody Wilson, wonderful plumber, Mary Beulah, and afforded this piano so that I might make a living in an occupation that would be okay to wear long hair. But back then it was just gorgeous George and Lee Baracci. <laughs> Everybody else had a buzz cut. And I just, you know, my hair was just way too pretty. That was back when I was known as Austin Blackie. Now, Riley Osborne is my favorite piano player. There's Floyd Domino makes me think that perhaps he could teach me how to do that. Riley Osborne makes me crawl under the bed and listen real, real close because you can tell this man practiced. Thank you for being here. My pleasure. My pleasure. I love this. This is a going away party of the ninth degree.